Hi, this is Jillian Jorgensen reporting for EagleTribune.com. I'm here following Salem's first deliberative session with the chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Michael Lyons. Uh, chairman Lyons, what were some of the bigger issues up for discussion today at, uh, at deliberative session? It was our uh, road and bridge bond for our road work uh, and for our bridge work this year. Uh, which moved on a, uh, unamended by the citizens. It was a selectman's amendment to bring it down a million dollars based on the very favorable bidding that we got. Uh, so that was very important, and I'm happy that that's moving forward. Uh, the other thing uh, was the water meters. And um, if uh, the question was called and it all worked out uh, the way we wanted it to in terms of moving it forward, I'm here with Stephen Campbell, who is a member of the Budget Committee and running for Selectman. He spoke against uh, adding the water meters into the operating budget. Stephen, why, uh, why, what were some of your main reasons for not wanting to see that move through? Well, the two reasons were last year it was in a separate article and the people voted no, so I didn't want it buried in the operating budget where people wouldn't really have a choice. And the second part was I didn't think it was well thought out. They won't commit to eliminating the positions that go with water meters, so it's not well thought out. We shouldn't vote for it this time. So I'm here with Rick Russell, director of the Public Works Department in Salem, uh, who was asking, uh, among others, asking uh, the uh, town people here today to fund some new water meters, uh, which passed. How are you uh, feeling about that vote? I think it's great. I think the people understand this year a lot more than they did last year on the subject. I think a lot of people, at least from the people that were approaching me after the vote last year, that they thought this was going to be a, an impact on their tax rate. Well, it has absolutely no impact on the tax rate. It, the uh, total cost of the project is borne by the water and sewer users. Uh, We're at a point with these water meters that it's, it's like our fire chief. We have to do it. We've got to get it done. Last year, yes, there was a bond, but the only reason there was a bond was because uh, we were applying for a state program, which required us to get voter approval uh, on a two-thirds level because we were getting a loan. Uh, this year, it's in our budget. We've always had meters in our budget. These are new meters. This is more advanced. So uh, I'm happy that uh, it went down this way and look forward to the election day on March 8th.